Well, the tolerance issue is interesting because what tolerance means is I'm stupid and flawed and so are you, so I'll make you deal You don't harass me too much about my stupidity and flaws and I'll try to leave you the hell alone too And that's a pretty good deal for everybody So that's, that's the tolerance issue, right? It's we're all flawed and if we demand too much of one another in terms of perfection and uni unity of belief or even unity of thought or even coherence of thought then we're going to end up permanently at each other's throats so we should just try not to make unnecessary enemies that's tolerance and it's, it's, a, good, it's a good principle the diversity issue the toler tolerance doesn't mean anything goes that's not tolerance that's refusal to take responsibility for mature discrimination and discrimination has also become a, a dirty word it's like there's no difference between discrimination and thinking they're the same thing now you might say well what about unfair discrimination it's like well that's a whole different issue it's like if you have person A and person B and they're both equally qualified for a job there's something wrong if you let something other than their qualifications determine whether or not they should get the job I mean there's no, no one debates that seriously anymore you know so if somebody doesn't get a job because of their race everybody says well you know what the hell's wrong with you you're, you're not taking advantage of the person's talent you're, you're doing society a disservice and you're hurting individuals unnecessarily you shouldn't do that it's like okay fine we all agreed about that back in like 1965 that's covered so but but the idea that anything goes with regards to tolerance and lack of discrimination that's an entirely different thing that does not mean that all people are the same or that all abilities are the same or that everything is of equal value and so there's, there's a big difference between tolerance and nihilism and so lots of people say tolerance when they mean well anything goes, I can do whatever I want, I don't have to be responsible for anything, I don't have to think and there's no difference between people no matter how they act it's like sorry that's not a philosophy man that's a recipe for chaos and disaster and then the diversity thing, it's like oh I see we need more black people on our board because all black people think the same way that's how we're going to play this is it we're not going to be able to think so, so it's such a pernicious philosophy because it, it's predicated on the idea that the way someone thinks is inextricably tied with their group identity well that's what the bloody racists used to think you know, well no, we're not going to invite uh, let's say Iranians into our culture because all those Iranians think the same way well, I thought that was what racism was and so the idea that unless you have your bloody board of governors say or, or, your, or the middle strata of your organization arranged so that every single group has equitable representation you don't get a diverse range of opinions it's so, first of all that's just technically wrong because it isn't racial and ethnic and gender diversity that gives you diverse opinions that's just an idiotic, that's just a I don't know how you could be I can't understand how you could be so uninformed historically and technically that that argument would make sense to you but apart from that it's clearly see the bloody postmodernists they're, they're always criticizing what they call bio, biological essentialism so if I say well look you know on average women have a different set of interests on, than men which they do by the way and that's not socio-cultural they say well that's biological essentialism that's wrong but then when it comes to race, they're perfectly willing to say oh well, you have to have an equitable representation of all the different races because otherwise you won't get the proper diversity of opinions it's like, well, hold on a sec is race a biological construct? and, does, and you don't get the bloody diverse opinions without them emerging from this underlying biological construct? how is that not biological essentialism? and it's biological essentialism of the worst type it's... And, Having said all that, I would also caution people against making the assumption that what the radical postmodernists say they're after has anything to do with what they're actually after. Because they're not after equity. They're not after tolerance. They're not anybody's friend. 
Not at all. They're power. They're after power. And that's it. And they use all this compassion language, which is like, you scratch, you just have to scratch the surface of that and you find out how fast that vanishes. They use all this compassion language, and I'm on the side of the oppressed, all of that posturing. It does nothing but mask the underlying drive to power. And, it, and that's in keeping with their own damn philosophy, because the, for the postmodernists, there is nothing but power.